Okay, um, this is a presentation I've just put together called Time Wave Spirals. Uh, it was actually an article that I wrote recently and I thought I'd put it into like a video slideshow type thing because uh, the information it contains is quite, um, it's in, very interesting and it relates to something that very important that's happening right now. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a Cathara Grid template and it's actually a series of um, cathara grid templates that spiral out from the center. If you imagine this shape, um, it starts off um, tiny in the center, and then it goes through a series of um, 45 degree increment shifts. And each time it um, does the shift, uh, you can actually, the 12 points is at the top here, imagine the blue line, um, it will connect to the 12 point as the um, time wave spiral spirals outwards here 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 and here so it grows in size this is literally um, the, the template that external creation is based upon and uh, the geometry of this is defined by a creational code which exists at the center now um, we've got the crystal spiral which is based on the Christ code, first creation, eternal life program. And we've got the Fibonacci spiral, which is a fallen, um, a fallen spiral based on the Metatronic code program. Uh, now, on this planet, for a very long time, we've actually had both creational programs running simultaneously. Now, each of these um, creational programs create a completely separate reality that um with its own geometry and physics and laws and stuff like that and they're actually overlapping on top of each other we're, we're actually experiencing um both of these uh, creational code programs on top of each other at the same time um which is has caused many many problems on this planet um now what's interesting is this point here is where the two spirals will cross. Now, if you actually look at, if you actually Google like the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence um, and follow the number, this, this this spiral would be a representation of the numbers of the Fibonacci spiral. Uh, on the Fibonacci spiral, you actually get uh, the number 144, which would be at this point here. Now, the crystal spiral um, also has a number progression sequence and um, it also has 144 on it as well. Um, you'd have to see how it was actually calculated. I've done another separate post on that, but the number 144 is basically on the crystal spiral as well. And interestingly, 144 is the point where they both cross. Now, um, what? and basically this, this time where they're gonna cross is actually in November. Uh, 2023 so we're here somewhere in terms of time because this is like a time spiral so we're somewhere in this period here just before that they cross we've got about two years before they cross now what happens is when they cross the Fibonacci spiral which is based on the fallen Metatronic um, code it's, it's designed to grab on this, this red line, this Fibonacci spiral. It's designed to grab on to the crystal spiral and prevent the crystal spiral from connecting to these points. And it tries to pull the crystal spiral down and, and to adopt the, um, the Fibonacci spiral, which basically pulls it away from the uh, 12 point, uh, which is actually, a, 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 um, it's actually the, the center point of the, and like the next level up but basically it tries to pull it down into fall alignment right which is not going to happen but that's what it intends to do okay um so i'll just put this little bit of text up so um on the 8th and 9th of november 2023 the organic crystal spiral time wave separates from the inorganic fallen metatronic spiral time wave so you have until then to decide which time wave you are aligning with. 
If you align with the descending time wave, which is the Fibonacci spiral, after the snap point um, of the trumpet, pulse and Jehovian seal cycle, which is a whole series of nasty sort of energetic pulses that are happening at the moment, um, then I'm unsure what your options would be. So it's probably best to decide now. Um, so you can literally choose which of these reality fields that you want to align with and follow. So at this point here, you can either go with the crystal spiral and follow the natural um, Christic ascension path. Or if you get sort of locked onto the Fibonacci spiral, you will experience um, a different reality. Now, the further these get away from each other, it's my belief that um, each reality will eventually start phasing out of each other's perceptual range. Um, so it's important to choose which of these reality fields you align with now. Um, so what's happening on the planet now, in terms of all the craziness that is happening, um, they're trying to lower the frequency of the planet to basically pull us all down into lower lower frequencies of consciousness because they're trying to secure as many people as many people of the like the quantum of the life field if you like in order to um follow this fibonacci spiral um so that's not good at all okay so this is the nasty mess that causes the fibonacci spiral um this shape here is referred to as Metatron's cube and as you can see it's based on hex geometry number six because it's got six balls um, and you can actually see here it's it forms like a hexagram um, so I'll and this here is called the flower of life which is basically all as this is it's just a face another face of this um, fallen creational code program so um, imagine a circle uh, being 360 degrees. Now, what, what actually happens in the Metatron's cube um, template, you have um, six increments of 60 degrees to make the 360 degrees. So each one of these increments is a 60 degree increment. Okay, so that's one of the ways that you can tell a fallen template by its 60 degree implement, increment and if you look on the flower of life again you can see that it's it works on 60 degree increments and basically it's six one two three four five six this is just a pattern that is drawn over this it's one and the same so i've said metatron's cube is a face of the metatronic code and to put it bluntly, is fallen black hole creational mechanics based on false finite inorganic sextant hex geometry. Uh, so if you want to be on the up train, i.e. the Christic Ascension Path, you would be well advised to avoid Metatron's cube, this, uh, the flower of life, or as we call it, the daisy of death, the golden mean, and the uh, Fibonacci spiral. Uh, these are all fallen mechanics and part of the descending inorganic time wave. So, if you don't believe any of this is real, uh, I'm going to show you something now which um, I've seen recently, which was, uh, it's quite amazing actually. Uh, well, not this, it's the next slide, but this is just to show you um, the geometry of Metatron's cube, the fallen Metatron's cube, Metatronic code, and that you can use it to create shapes, geometric shapes. Uh, I believe that these are called the platonic solids, and these are just... Um, geometric shapes that are able to be created on top of the fallen um, Metatron's cube. So I watched a film at the weekend with my children uh, called Soul and uh, I don't know if you've seen it, it's a good film to watch with the kids but um, when I was watching it uh, I noticed some very interesting things that were in, in the film which I'll show you next but Without spoiling the story, basically it's about this 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 fella here, and he's a jazz musician, and he gets this gig to play in a band. It's his lifelong dream, but unfortunately, before he gets to play in the band, he dies, and his soul goes to a place called the Great Before. So, um, when he as soon as he gets there, 
he meets this woman in the great before and she and she says that the great before is the holding pattern before life um now this woman is holding a clipboard with the fallen flower of life daisy of death template which was quite interesting that immediately um got me to start snapping pictures off the, off the film as i was watching it um so this woman in the great before uh, she says that she's the divine template holding things together and in the movie she morphs into her true form um which as you can see with these angles here in the way that the circles overlap these are all 60 degree angles so basically what they're implying in the movie is that the divine template holding things together is the fallen metatronic code right now you've got to remember hollywood is just the they put these things in these movies because they know what they mean and they know the significance of them because they're all fallen angelics. So that's what they do. Okay, so in the great before, um, basically what they do is they give out templates and personalities to souls before they incarnate into a body on planet Earth. This is like the story of the movie. Um, and as you can see, they're all like attending this seminar to decide which soul, soul template they're going to get. And lo and behold, yep, they're giving them all Daisy of Death templates. Now, um, just to show you, that's what, that's what this is. This is a Metatron's Cube, the Metatronic Code, Fallen Creational um, Artificial Life Finite um, Program. Well, that's what they're, that's what they're suggesting everybody gets, which is not true at all. Um, so, in the film, they have these little cute characters, all innocent, and basically before they incarnate down on the planet, they all get stamped with the Metatronic code. Mar <laughs> Marvelous! Oh my God, I can't believe some of these things. Um, okay, so <laughs> I just found this uh, image online. I thought it was quite funny. I wasn't even looking for it, to be honest, it just popped up, so I thought I'd put it in the slide. Um, yeah, disobey, not disobey in any negative way, just just don't follow what they're saying. Um, learn that there's a different way of doing it, there's a different template. Um, and pay no attention to um, all the rubbish that they put out. Well, it's actually not rubbish, it's actually a real thing, but uh, if you knew what it was, you wouldn't consciously choose it. Okay, so we've seen the negative. Now, this is the, well, what I consider to be the positive. This is, um, this is eternal life creation. This is the, the, the Ruche God Seed, also known as the Christ Code, K-R-Y-S-T, the Christ Code. And this is based on octant geometry. So instead of having the six balls round um, the center, you actually have eight so if you start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight balls around um, the center, and you actually have like four in the center. So it creates um, 12 spheres and the center points as well. So if you just remember this shape, um, what it actually is, is um, these cells here, these three cells together, they form something called a triveca. And what they are, they're, they're phase cells. So um, one of these cells will be a, a male positive and the other one will be a female negative, speaking in terms of polarity. And what happens is these two cells will phase together. They pull together to become one and then they pull into this cell here and then they pull into the center. And the same thing happens with here. You've got a, a positive and a negative. They phase together to become one, pull into this cell and then pull into the center. Now, the whole thing breathes like a living, eternal life um, circulatory system where when all the cells pull together and pull into the center, it creates a process called backflow return, which will open up a, a conduit, if you like, to God source consciousness field itself. And, it, and when, it, when all the cells come back out again, they replenish themselves with... Um, a brand new set of quantum like frequency from God's source consciousness field so in order to have a living eternal life system you've got to have 
um, you've got to have this arrangement of cells where they can phase together and create the backflow return. If you mess around with the number of spheres, then it stops the cells being able to phase and create backflow return with God source consciousness field. Okay, uh, this is the same thing, uh, just shown in a little bit more detail. Um, this is actually what's referred to as a Cosmea cluster, which is quite a high level of creation. Um, so, where are we? Yeah, now, if you remember the positions of those um, points, just let me I'll tell you what, just let me go back. Just imagine, uh, remember the, the, the locations of these, um, these, these points here, and then look at these yellow circles. These are actually, um, they're called Ruche scepters. And this, this whole structure is something called a unici, which is the highest level in external creation. And basically, it's the Ruche pattern, what we've just um, been looking at. And inside this Ruche pattern, it's like it's like a template that defines how external creation out pictures. Um, so you can see uh, once this template is in place, you can see it down steps into like sort of um, micro versions. This is like the macrocosm, the big thing, and it will create microcosms in each quadrant. So if we look at if we like zoom into this uh, quadrant here and then go to the next slide, that would be the next level down. This level is called the, uh, the Akashirea, um, Christos. Okay, and again, it's the same thing. And then you can zoom in again. It's like a, it's like a fractal. Uh, you can keep zooming into each, each quadrant, and then you'll get pretty much the same look and template. And it keeps going all... Start off with God Source Consciousness Field, and it'll step down to like... Um, a universe, then it'll step down to a galaxy, um, then it'll step down to a solar system, then step down to a planet, then step down to uh, a person and all the little templates that uh, exist on a planet. And then it even steps down further into like atoms and things like that. So these are literally, this this Ruche, um Christ code, it actually creates the, um, the structure of the reality that we walk around in, okay? So... Um, this planet has long had two competing creation templates, the original Eternal Life Chris code template and the fallen finite Metatronic code template. This has been a big problem here and in the entire Prosiac Milky Way galaxy for billions of years. A lot of nature here has actually been following the dominant Metatronic code template geometry for a very long time, which is why you can see it in nature in things like sea seashells and snowflakes and things like that. If you just Google like images of snowflakes, you can see that it's following the um, the Metatronic code template, i.e. Um, increments of 60 degrees. Uh, so one of the biggest lessons is that just because something is seen in nature does not mean it's natural. It only seems that way um, if you're unaware of both creational templates and how they both outpicture into nature's geometry. So a template has male positive and female negative spheres that are designed to phase and create open backflow return with God's source consciousness field, as I've explained just a little moment ago. In fallen hex geometry, it's impossible to create the required trivector phase cell, which is the three cells together that phase, um, breathing process in each quadrant of the template. Thus, the spheres can't phase together and create open backflow return. The Eternal Life Chris Code template is based on octant geometry and allows for 12 spheres, a trivector in each quadrant, um, to phase correctly to replenish its quantum through backflow return eternal life phasing, which again would be, um, this is a trivector here, um, and these two cells would phase together, um, spark, pull into the centre, pull into the centre, um, and create backflow return in, in an eternal life um, breathing process. Okay, uh, the Metatronic Code is designed to break the Christ Code eternal life template status and prevent it from phasing. It will eventually cause your natural Christ Code template to enter something called molecular compaction and become disconnected from the natural structures of God Source Consciousness field around it 
thus you are in metatronic fall alignment status there are ways to pull back from this due to certain events that are occurring now but shortly these two opposing time wave templates will separate and whatever train ascension path you are on will be an important and pivotal decision that will infect your entire existence going forward Okay, so here we can see um, both of the um, opposing templates side by side. You've got the Ruche um, God Seed Chris code based on octant geometry, and you've got the Metatronic code based on fallen um, sextant hex geometry. Um, basically, what happens is because this has now been changed into a, um, a hex geometry, um, the cells can no longer phase together um, because the trivector phase cells are no longer there. So the phasing that normally takes place to create the backflow return with God Source Consciousness field can now no longer take place in this template. So therefore, this becomes a fallen finite template um, and it only has the quantum of energy in it at the point when it became um, fallen in this structure so it will eventually it will burn out its own quantum um, and the only way to keep this structure going is for it to feed vampirically off living Christ code templates which is what's been happening on this planet for a very long time you've got like whole soul groups of people fallen angelic beings who are running this program and they use this planet as a giant energetic feeding system so they're actually using this um, code to feed on um, this planet like suck all the energy out, out, out of the planet and out of the life field and it's been going on for way too long okay so again by changing the number of phase cells prevents the cells from phasing together to create backflow return with God source consciousness field thus it's unable to replenish its quantum okay so this next section is called uh, Time wave spirals, ascending and descending time waves, conscious and non-conscious participation, and choices of rise or fall in the coming separation of time wave templates. Okay, as mentioned previously, on the 8th and 9th of November 2023, the end snap separation point between the dueling time waves, the crystal spiral, and the metatronic harness death spiral finally separates, which is this point here. All manifest reality originally begins running on the Eternal Life Christ Code program, which is the mathematical and geometrical structures and laws that govern the angular interrelationships of matter and energy. In order for Eternal Life creation to eternally exist, it requires a very specific template capable of phasing, sparking, and open, opening up backflow return with God Source Consciousness field. In order to continually renew quantum in this alive and consciously breathing template, that downsteps its seed code encryption pattern into all things so they may be a part of this eternal life reality and creation domain. The Christ code is based on octant geometry and base 12 mathematics that govern its energetic dynamics and eternal life capabilities. Through extreme misuse of free will against these natural eternal life laws of creation as defined in the Christ code, um where am i um it, it basically means um it's no longer able to phase and create backflow return with the larger structures of god's source consciousness field if you mess around with this template and thus it becomes fallen into metatronic status um this creates a metatronic template which therefore becomes finite and will eventually burn out its own quantum unless it can vampire off a living chris code systems to sustain itself Okay, um, this planet has for billions of years had an issue with the Metatronic Code and whole soul groups, again, um, are running this template and basically feeding off us. The grand plan is to pull this entire planet down into template fall alignment so we ultimately become quantum food for their fallen matrices. This is an extremely long and complex story um, that is at the core of most of the issues here on surface Earth for a very long time. At any one point, there's been a particular quantum of the original Chris code template and opposing quantum of the fallen Metatronic code template dueling for dominance. 
each, cre each creational template creates a spiral of energy that comes out from its core, which are both defined by the mathematics and geometries of that specific template. So the metatronic template spiral is designed to latch onto the crystal spiral and pull it inwards, thus breaking its natural connection point. Once the crystal spiral is broken, it leads onto a whole set of unnatural template events that ultimately leads to a loss of template cohesion and a falling of that template into metatronic status if remedial action is not taken. Due to extreme intentional misuse of free will against the natural laws of Chris Code Tem the Chris Code template by numerous fallen angelic groups, a process was triggered in August 2011 called Failsafe, which is an autoimmune response in the body of God's source consciousness field itself to protect the integrity of the Christ Code first creation program if the integrity of the Christ Code is threatened beyond a certain point. Failsafe is an extremely rare event to occur in manifest creation and certainly does not always occur when systems are about to fall. It works by opening up eternal, internal creation frequencies into an external creation domain, which is where we are, uh, which sends in extremely powerful internal creation plasma frequencies that serve as pillars of frequency that external creation templates can use as an anchor to prevent further fall. In time, these pillars begin reversing the damage done to external creation templates and restoring them back to the Eternal Life Christ Code pattern. Okay, so this planet is externally governed in 3D by numerous fallen angelic bloodlines and soul groups who are only interested in us as quantum food. The entire system we live under here is a giant elaborate structure designed to vampirically feed on the energy of humanity and transfer it to them for the, so they can feed on it to sustain their fallen templates. The Christ Code and the fallen Metatronic Code have very different um, geometries they function by. The fallen Metatronic Code creates the Flower of Life or Daisy of Death pattern, Metatron's Cube and the Fibonacci Spiral. These are all faces of the fallen Metatronic Code and as such they are all black hole death mechanics. We are currently experiencing two distinct time waves right now caused by the dueling crystal spiral and fallen metatronic spiral that is attempting to harness it and pull it down into fall alignments by forcing it to adopt its pattern. This will not occur, well not in full anyway. Each spiral creates its own time waves that circulate out on each template's spiral. This means we are experiencing two different time waves at this time um, that are eight years apart. Strangely, events that are energetically occurring now will not outpicture into our physical reality for eight years. Um, this, of course, means we are now experiencing the energetic outpicturing of events that took place eight years ago. So, what happened eight years ago to cause some of this craziness now? Eight years ago was an event called the Shield Split, which is a complex story, but essentially was called, caused by a particularly nasty uh, fallen group called the Fatal E, who infiltrated the Aquiferion ring shields and caused the green and violet rings to shatter. These are all structures of creation, um, which are explained in um, the teachings that I follow. Um, I won't go into it here because obviously I'll go off in loads of different tangents and that. But basically, uh, they're like shields um, of consciousness um, and um, the shields were um, uh, taken over or infected, if you like, by this fatally program um, and it caused the, um, the shields to shatter. Um, so the fatally do not take over a planet by coming in spaceships with weapons and stuff like that, but rather they take over humans um, by body snatching them from within. Most people this occurs to do not even know they are being taken over and it takes place over a period of time causing the original consciousness of that person to transition into the invading fatally consciousness in a process referred to as dark flowering. Now I've seen this happen to numerous people I know and I, believe me it's very real. Um, working with the Tantriora teachings and running plasma frequencies of the failsafe host in your template can protect you from this dark flowering affliction so the fatally cannot enter your template and direct your light body lotus petals onto the dark flowering pattern. Right now we're on a planet under full fatally occupation with many of our top rulers being essentially body snatched and influenced by fatally consciousness. 
This is undoubtedly a scary concept for those just hearing something like this for the first time, but many wonderful things are occurring simultaneously to counterbalance this, which will soon become apparent. So, on the 8th and 9th of November 2023, the Metatronic Harness Spiral that is attempting to pull the Crystal Spiral, spiral down into full alignment will fail due to the crystal spiral being hosted and fortified by internal creation plasma frequencies of the failsafe host. When the crystal spiral breaks free of the metatronic spiral time wave, the planetary crist code template and planetary metatronic fall template will be separated and therefore will be two literal separate creational programs generating two overlapping realities. As the crystal spiral uh, continues on, um, which on this diagram would be um, this phase here, um, the metatronic spiral will fall behind. And it's my belief that these two now separate realities, both with their separate core templates, will progressively begin to phase out of each other's perceptual awareness. It might therefore be a good idea to choose which time wave spiral you wish to be on and align with it in the run up to this extremely pivotal event in November 2023. For most of the life field on this planet, they will choose the crystal spiral time wave via their higher selves, uh, as most people will have no clue this is occurring. After the shield split eight years ago, the shields reformed, um, and one third of those shields were intentionally left reversed to allow for free will choices of those who do not want to accept the failsafe host, as in the energetic dynamics of the Christ code, eternal life creation, of eternal life creation, nothing is ever forced on anyone. Everyone has a choice, um, but this choice now has a time factor involved, after which point everyone gets their choice. The fallen angelics get to be fallen, which is what they've wanted all along, and those seeking the eternal life Chris Code path of ascension will get their choice also. Soon, the ability for the fallen angelics to feed on our living systems will be removed permanently. When consciously working with the frequencies of the failsafe host, you are automatically aligned with the crystal spiral time wave through a process called Earth Sync. The quantum of the planet that is riding the crystal spiral time wave is occurring anyway, whether you follow it or not. And if you want to keep up with that um, spiral, um, you um, engage in a process called Earth Sync, which keeps your personal template aligned with the planetary host, so that you or so that you follow in this blue line. Um, Given the short amount of time before the two spirals separate, I'm wondering if the fatally are currently engaged in an all-out spiritual assault on this planet to secure as much quantum as they can to pull down into their metatronic harness time wave. I think, yes, that's exactly what's going on. This would obviously require lowering the frequency of the planet via lowering our collective consciousness, which is mainly done by putting everyone in a state of perpetual fear. Check. This would also require continuing that fear by creating one negative scary event after another. That's a big check. Um, now I can't say that word here, um, but you can see it. V, the whole planet, is also their plan, which will undoubtedly include all manner of nasty stuff, such as nanotech to link you into the five, and I can't say that letter either, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then the next one, five, AI grid, and... Um, it will also probably contain genetic material, um, blood, etc. from fallen soul groups. Um, when you inject DNA from another being into yourself, that DNA code merges and changes your own DNA, DNA, template, DNA templates to become an amalgam of the two, therefore changing the very essence of who and what you are. My advice would be to avoid any V for the foreseeable future. The, this propaganda of fear being pushed heavily on the planet right now is very intentional, I believe, and it's designed to lower the collective consciousness of humanity's frequency so it can be used to strengthen the fallen collective's hold over us by keeping us away from the higher frequencies of the host, which is um, the failsafe host is what is following this blue line, uh, the Christic Ascension Path. All this negative energy that they're generating, um, they feed upon it and they call this negative energy loosh. Uh, the best solution um, is to reject their fear program and let them go hungry. Because remember, every time you smile, a fallen angelic goes hungry. 
For this reason, I am now choosing to completely disengage with any posts about riots, um, CV, I'm sure you know what that stands for, riots, politics, and any other intentionally created propaganda designed to separate us, put, uh, put us at odds with each other um, for our differences and generally cause anger or disharmony in the wider collective consciousness. I believe the best way to fully embody, fully embody the crystal spiral time wave is to now reject anything that assists the metatronic time wave harness by refusing to feed it no longer with our energy. I refuse to allow them to outpicture their propaganda through me, no longer. I will now be creating my own separate reality that aligns fully with the crystal spiral host wave and anything else that either feeds the opposing time wave or does not resonate is now expunged from my reality. So what you focus on expands and what you feed will grow. Thrive and be alive, love and be together, move upwards as one. The time to choose is now. My choice is made. We are creators of reality and I now take back this power to use for positive alignments and outcomes. Who's with me? I mean, come on. Um, the spirals are reaching the split point soon. Uh, we are experiencing two polar extreme realities simultaneously overlapping the crystal spiral time wave versus the descending metatronic harness time wave spiral. Those aligned with the descending spiral are living in a completely different frequency reality and therefore can mainly only process the frequencies of that spiral time wave that they're on. This means they are quite difficult to reach with words and concepts outside of their descending spiral time wave frequency bands. In extreme cases, they literally cannot process most of what someone running crystal spiral uh, time wave frequencies is saying to them. It's like talking to an automated computer program. They simply cannot understand and refuse any attempts at talking outside their program. It's like um, they can't run the frequencies that we're running in our templates. And basically what happens is if they're running a fallen template, they, um, they can't, literally can't process the frequencies that our words are carried on. So they just reject it, outright flatly refuse to listen, um, which is, um, I'm sure most people have experienced that in a big way. Uh, okay, so consciousness organizes itself into shields, which are like big energetic disks that hold um, consciousness collectives together. Um, the shields are collectives of, of like frequencyed people. So the fear agenda being played obviously pulls consciousness down into lower frequency shields. And once there, um, I've spelt there wrong there, please um, ignore that. Uh, once there, you get locked into a mind control program, some refer to as the frequency fence or mind control net. I, um, I fear these lower shield collectives are going to go with the metatronic spiral harness reality unless something major occurs to raise their frequency. Uh, so the point the two spiral time waves separate is on axis 7 at the 144 point on both spirals on November 2023. Again, here. The spirals literally are two overlapping independent realities, um, each generated by their own um, creational code program. One Christic, one Fallen, that we are experiencing simultaneously. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, at the moment, the Fibonacci spiral is the furthest out from the center. So you can see that the red line is the furthest one out from the center. So it's my personal belief that this means it's unfortunately the dominant reality field we see due to it being outpictured more fully. Um, so after November 2023, those choosing the crystal spiral time wave will experience it progressively becoming the dominant external reality field. And that's when the good stuff starts to happen. Events taking place on the descending metatronic spiral will progressively fade out of our perceptual range. That's my belief anyway. It, it not, there's, no other, um, there's no other way it can happen. Eventually, the two realities are going to split. Of course, if you align with the Metatronic Spiral Time Wave and follow that after November 2023, you will experience a much more unpleasant reality field making our current doo-doo show, and I'm saying that politely, um, seem like a walk in the park. 
The Fatalee, who are a particularly nasty group of fallen angelics, are working hard to secure as much quantum as possible on the descending time wave. I suspect this is partly responsible for our current planetary situation. Taking their V is obviously not a good idea, as these will likely be chocked full of all kinds of crap designed to lock you into their falling spiral by altering your DNA and blocking higher frequencies, like turning D higher DNA strands off and stuff like that. Uh, choosing where you put your attention and thoughts right now will determine which spiral you give your energy to. So there's a huge push forward in awakening occurring as the two time wave spirals progress towards November 2023. Some are choosing which time wave spiral they want to follow last minute. So basically because of this time factor involved where, uh, where you're going to reach this snap point here, there's a lot of people whose higher selves are screaming at them to wake up because if they don't wake up now, it's basically they're going to end up going on this Metatronic fallen time wave. So um, there's a lot of people going to be waking up big time right now. Um, I believe we will increasingly see a polarization in the run-up to November 2023 and people, um, given we are seeing two different overlaid realities on top of each other, which is essentially what is happening. Um, one reality is generated by the Chris code template and the other the falling Metatronic code template. Numerous people in our outer hologram are not on the same time wave as us, so literally cannot perceive the same reality as we do. So they, they can see us and we can see them, but there's a clear separation of frequency that causes a disconnect. Some people seem so far away in frequency that they are like shadows in my hologram I can barely perceive. Trying to engage with these people about anything meaningful um, and they simply can't read your frequency so can't process or understand what you're saying to them. It's like they're tuned to a different radio station. It's possible some people are still just under heavy mind control and have never had the opportunity to break free of the frequency fence mind control net which is like a, um, an artificially generated lower band of frequency that um, these fallen angelics like to keep um, humanity's consciousness or at least as much of it as possible locked under so once you're locked under this frequency fence you can't perceive frequencies above it and that's that's basically the game that they've been playing for quite a long time um, so the frequency is here now to enable everyone to awaken and break free but they must choose it themselves all we can do is hold out branches of frequency they can grab onto but if they don't want to climb then that's their choice the implications for those not wishing to awaken are critical at this time. Okay, so what you focus on expands and what you feed will grow. Thrive and be alive. Love and be together. Move upwards as one. The time to choose is now. So that's the end of my presentation. Um, if you like if you liked it uh, please like the video and click the little notification bell icon if you want to be notified of any future videos uh, if you've made it this far thanks very much for sticking with me uh, appreciate it greatly and hopefully i'll see you in the next video soon okay thanks for now bye 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 bye